Hi, everybody. We are here with Mike Furtek from Big Y. Hello, Mike. Hi. Thanks for having me. So glad to be here. We're cooking something great today, chicken and some Southwest law. Tell us about it. Right. This is a chicken paillard, and paillard is just a, um, it's a method of preparing chicken that's, um, I think the French translation or the word was like a scallop or like little bits, they call it. So okay. you cut it thin and cook it quickly. This is okay. the result. Um, so take a breast, cut it in half, so it's thinner. Yeah, is that what it you is? actually when you when you take the breast, you actually open it up like a book. So you cut one side thin and open it, and then the other side thin and open it this way. Okay. And then to get the uh, to get them flattened, you can actually use some saran. Okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's what you start with. Um, and just kind of pound it down. Yep. Yep. And you, if you don't have a meat mallet, you can use a half full wine bottle or an empty wine bottle. Okay. Um, all right. Season with salt and pepper. Perfect. And on a hot grill. You don't need to use any fat. Provided. So no olive oil or anything like that. Just put it right on the if grill. If the grill's hot enough, you should be fine. All right. All right. And since so it's thin, it probably cooks pretty quickly? Very quickly, right. Okay. Just a couple of minutes on each side? Correct. All right. Now, do you have to put salt and pepper on that side, too? Yep. You can season right. the side after you get it on the grill. Okay. And what are we going to do next? And I wanted to show you also that um, grilled corn. Yeah, you know, I was just at a barbecue at my brother's house uh, last weekend, yep. and he did this. I would never seen anybody do this before. You actually can leave the husks on. Right. Um, all, all you need to do, some people soak them in water, but all you really need to do is take the, um, the silk off the top. Okay. The steam will come out the other end, um, and then just lay them on the grill. And it, you can leave them on there for a good Five to eight minutes. Okay. Um, Do you have to flip them around? Keep rolling them like, yep, keep rolling them so that you don't get too brown on one side. And just let the lid down. That's fantastic. And when it comes out, it's beautifully cooked. Right. Nice have, and juicy. What you have when you peel it is that the corn will be steamed, and these have been returned to the grill after that. So what you do is, to get more color after, they, after you husk them, you just simply put them back on the grill like that to get more color. All right, and brown it up a little bit. Yeah, that's a so great idea. So it's two idea. steps, but it's worth it for the flavor. All right, so All right. moving on to the slaw now. Right, now for the Southwest slaw, these are the dry ingredients, cumin, paprika, celery seed, kosher right. salt. So it's gonna be a little bit spicy. Yep, and the wet ingredients are lemon juice. Mm, I can smell, it smells delicious. This is the Big Y brand. Is this the hot uh, sauce right yep. here? They okay. We, we're Cajun using, Heat Louisiana hot sauce. Right, you get all these beautiful products right at big, your local Big Y. Big y. We're using red wine and vinegar, which is World Classics brand as well, and the Big Y canola oil. Okay. All right, now when you make vinaigrette or for, uh, dressing for a salad, it's good to mix the ingredients first. All Just at once. shake them up like that yep. first. So it kind of gets evenly distributed across right, everything. Right, and then these are your other components to the slaw. Red and green bell pepper, mm -hmm. red onion, Beautiful fresh vegetables. Yep. And then you have that nice grilled corn. Oh, all right. So you just sliced it off from the corn that you have on the grill there. Correct. All right. Yep. And then it, you use these little carrots, right, in the bag there the to baby make it a little easier? Are, yep, the baby loaf carrots are an organic, organic brand. Okay. Um, that's what I had mixed into the cabbage before we uh, started mixing the, mixing the, uh, the slaw. Um, Organic uh, products in Big Y have, have grown over the last, I would say, five years or more. Mm -hmm. um, convenience foods as well, like prepared cabbage, cut peppers, things like that also become a, a That's nice because if you want to make a big have, dish yeah. like this, sometimes you don't have the time to chop everything up. So right. you can just buy the package of pre-cut vegetables, toss them all in, and in a couple minutes you have something still homemade and delicious, just a little bit faster. Right. You wouldn't want to like keep that from, you know, you know, from having you prepare fresh food. The, um, there's cooked beets I've seen, I've seen sliced carrots that are prepared, um, cooked and raw. So this dressing is meant is a great accompaniment to the, uh, the chicken, which is just salt and peppered and grilled. You can season the chicken any way you like, following the same theme as Southwest or, you know, something with a cilantro as a marinade for the chicken. Um, but it's that simple. Uh, the dressing can be made ahead of time and left in a container in the fridge either the day before and, and the slaw is best served that day or the next day. Okay, so we're just yeah. about out of time. So would you kind of serve it together or would you just serve them side by side? Uh, definitely. The, the, the nice thing about the paillard is you can put it on a plate. It covers most of the plate and then your cold salad and, you, and your accompaniment uh, can go right on top of it as a garnish so that it looks very, very pretty on the plate. Beautiful yeah. and delicious. Everything right at your local Big yep. Y. Thanks so much for coming Thank in. And great ideas me. for yep. our next cookout.